Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Good morning, everyone. May the Lord bless you. You are welcome to our Begin Daily with Christ. God bless you abundantly as you join us today in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty and everlasting God, glory and honor to your holy name. You are worthy, O Lord, worthy to be praised, worthy to be honored, worthy to be glorified. There is no one like you. You are the Almighty. Blessed and honored to your name, Lord. Father, this morning we commit ourselves to your heavy ones. We pray that you have your way in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, lead us as we follow you. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Children of God, you are welcome today to our Begin Daily with Christ. Begin Daily with Christ. And what we are going to be talking about this morning is listening to God, not to fear. Listening to God, not to fear. We need to understand as a child of God that fear is a destroyer. Fear is a destroyer and its assignment is to imprison you. The assignment of fear is to cage you. And when he succeeded to do that, he will begin to torment you gradually. He will begin to torment you gradually. We also need to understand that fear is a spirit of bondage. Fear is a spirit of bondage. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, the Bible says, God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God gave us these powerful tools to be able to subdue the spirit of fear. Because if you fail to subdue the spirit of fear, the spirit of fear will put you in bondage and in torment. God told Joshua, in Joshua chapter 1, Verse 9. God told Joshua in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. He said to him, He said, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithsoever thou goest. God is always be with his own children. God told Joshua not to be afraid, not to be dismayed, because in every situation, God is available. God is always show himself mighty. So we don't have to agree with our fear. In Psalm 27 verse 1, Psalm 27 verse 1, the Bible says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? This is a clear statement of God. If God is our salvation, if God is our light, there is no need for us to exhibit fear. We have to listen to what God is saying, not what our fear is saying. God is able to do all things. And he had given us the power to subdue fear. He gave us the power. He said he has given us the, the power and love and sound mind. In other words, God has given us authority over fear. We need to listen to God, not to fear. In Matthew 19, verse 26, Matthew 19, verse 26, Jesus said, With men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. If the word of God says, With God, all things are possible, why do we need to exhibit fear again? 
Why do we need to allow fear to torment us? Why do we need to allow fear to cage us? Why do we need to allow fear to put us, put us in bondage? If all things are possible with God, then don't listen to fear. Just trust in the word of God. Trust in God. In Psalm 125 verse 1. Psalm 125 verse 1. The Bible says, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. As long as you put your trust in God Almighty, fear have no place again, because with God all things are possible. And God will establish that which he had promised. Don't listen to the report of human beings. It doesn't really matter what doctor says. It doesn't really matter what the enemy says. What matter is what God is saying. What matter is what our Heavenly Father is saying. Whose report will you believe? The report of the enemy or the report of God? God is able. He is a God that can never fail and He will never fail. So don't listen to fear. Just listen to God. Look at what God says. And look at the circumstances on the situation that fear wants to bring to your life. Of course, when God told Joshua in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 not to be fear, not to be afraid, and go and read the book of Joshua, you see eventually Joshua became a man that told son to stand still. He became a man that told smooth to stand still. We need to listen to God and not to our fear. In Isaiah 43 verse 5, Isaiah 43 verse 5, the Bible says, Fear not, for I am with thee. If God is with you, you don't have to listen to fear. You just have to listen to God because with God, all things are possible. Children of God, there is nothing God cannot do. God is a protocol breaker. is the maker of heaven and earth. And the Bible says, once as he spoke, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. Psalm 62 verse 11. Power belongs to God. Listen to God, children of the Most High God, not to fear. Don't allow fear to cage you. Just listen to what God is saying. In every situation, in every circumstances, go and look at the word of God. What is the word of God saying concerning that situation? What is the word of God saying concerning that circumstances? What you need to do is just to trust in him. Is just to trust in him. He said, they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but I buy death forever. You are unshakable. As long as you put your trust in God, as long as you listen to what God is saying, you are unshakable. Don't allow fear to destroy you. Don't allow fear to cage you. Don't allow fear to keep you in bondage. Because the Lord is our light and our salvation. Who shall I fear? Who do you have to fear? Doctors report what the enemies are saying. The circumstances of life. No. You must not listen to your fear. Listen to God. And as you listen to God, God will move and you will see that you will laugh at last. May the Lord God Almighty give us the grace to listen to him in every situation. May God Almighty give us the grace to be bold like lion in the name of Jesus. Anytime Satan wants to torment you with fear, go to the word of God because God said he has given us the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. That is the authority that you have over fear. And as you exhibit that authority, fear disappears. May the Lord God Almighty be with us. In the name of Jesus, may he shine his light upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
children of the Most High God, listen to God and not to fear. May the Lord bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just want to say thank you for your goodness and your mercy, for your faithfulness and your protection, for what you have done, for what you are doing, for what you are said to do. Father, we appreciate and honor your holy name. You are God from beginning to the end. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. Lord, with a humbleness of heart, we commit our way unto your hand this morning. Mighty God, go before us. Make every crook way straight. Have your way, O Lord God. Let your mercy and your favor speak for us. In the name of Jesus, we are covered and enveloped in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we are prayed. Amen. God bless you all, children of the Most High God. Go and possess your possession. Be blessed and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Bye for now. God bless you.